Back at on the beast, baby girl Mika here, the 2015 R1. And today we're rocking and talking about the Rurock Atlas 3.0. Hook it up with the Fujin. It is literally the most beautiful helmet I've ever seen. Yeah, now we gotta get a little pull in there. Yo, what are you doing? Actual tool bag. Oh, what an idiot. He pulls the bone and goes, we don't even know where we're going today, boys and girls. We're just riding for the sake of it. Wanted to put on the 3.0, feel it out. I took it on a full on ride out to grab coffee on the other side of town. Two hours of riding with it yesterday. Ooh, it felt good, man. I put the camera on the front of the bike so we could get beautiful shots of it before I mounted it up with a GoPro. That way you can get out the whole front and portrait of it without anything in the way. And man, it is stunning, dude. I love it. So yeah, I've had some seat time with the helmet and it feels good, man. There's all the bells and whistles that they've already been adding to them, like the fog resistant lens cover, optional and modular different visors that literally just twist off and on. The improved visor, the improved wind noise, the improved design and, dra and anti-drag measures that they've added to it. The Fidlock strap, which is one of my favorite things about the helmet and so easy to apply with gloves. Dude, you have no idea how many times I've had to take my gloves off or a glove off to get that stupid D-ring figured out under my helmet while I was in mid-ride or about to leave somewhere trying to get on the bike and go, you know? Love that thing. They added in the emergency cheek pad releases, just all around improvements, bro, non-stop. If you guys are interested in getting a shockwave audio system too, it literally fits directly inside the helmet, fit it perfectly so the speakers have a place, it's all wired and ready to go. All you gotta do is purchase the piece, it slides in the back of your helmet and literally is magnetic so it pulls itself in, sticks right in, and you're ready to go from there after you've put in the speakers. Everything ready to go to get your audio, your phone calls, your music, etc. And it's so sick that it just fits right into the helmet with nothing hanging out on the sides of your helmet or affecting the profile of it or catching drag in the wind when you're trying to get some speed, you know? So sick. Even the unboxing experience was nice. As it should be, you know? It should be a pleasant experience from start to finish. So once again, I mean, Rurock outdoes themselves every time. Listening to the customers, accepting feedback from Instagram, DMs, all of us riders who work with them to continue to improve their products, so sick. I can get behind that any day, bro. And I've been down in, I think, I think I've gone down in a 1.0 and a 2.0 and had zero issues with protection of my head. I crashed a wheelie at over 70 miles an hour, slammed my head sliding and spinning on the cement where I rolled over and the inertia of my head slammed into the ground. Didn't even crack through the helmet, bro. And I was up and good to go. No concussion, easy peasy, dude. So I have no doubt that the protection is there. So I'll tell you what, the original release of Rurock helmets, the level of comfort on entry, not great. Like you had to kind of put it on from the crown of your head and roll it forward. Um, and it felt really stiff around the bottom edge. Uh, so it really rubbed you raw and was hard to get in and out of. And bro, on the 3.0s, what is this person doing? Oh, you know, I won't stop at the stop sign. I'll just stop in the middle of the intersection because I'm an idiot. The birdie doing a flyby, let's go. But the 3.0s, man, they are comfortable. Comfort on entry and throughout your ride. Dude, it feels good. Um, another thing I noticed was initially on the very first Rurocks, the visors were a little flimsy and they didn't uh, seal air tight, causing extra wind noise, as well as making it difficult to manipulate. On the 2.0s, they already worked on that, made them nice and firm, solid helmet visors. It felt almost a little too stiff at some points. On the 3.0, bro, even better. It's like nice, it's solid, good, stiff, 
hard visor but man it's smooth and when you put that visor down it locks into place and seals initially the original rear rocks a little noisy the 2.0s they worked on it improved it managed to dampen some of that road and wind noise improved the design of the helmet to decrease the drag noise and on the 3.0s they've taken it a step further i'm sure it's not the quietest helmet on the market you can find helmets that are crazy quiet if that's what you're looking for but the 3.0 it feels great it looks great and that noise level is perfect i like being able to hear the road noise the cars around me the bike rumbling between my legs Woo, let's go that's what i'm here for man i'm not trying to sit inside a luxury car and drive around but they've improved on the drag and the wind noise and making it so it's comfortable bro and one of the most insane things about a rear rock helmet is the crazy field of view you have from the visor like you can see left right up down in your peripherals so so well in this helmet it's crazy it doesn't inhibit your ability to see around you like other helmets most every helmet i've ever owned and bro don't even get me started on the designs of these new ones the fujin bro <laughs> with the flat black with flat gray and flat metallic gold Woo! that thing shines in the sun bro join the club my dudes i'll put some links down below for you guys uh i'll put that code down below for you if you want a discount as well you're gonna have to slide into those dms quick if you're trying to get that discount though there's not more than a couple handfuls of those oh man i forgot to even touch on how lightweight the helmets are like since day one though that's something they nailed what's up birdie absolutely killed it on the weight dude it's like italian carbon fiber shell super protective but crazy lightweight like i love throwing this helmet around with one hand and just like feeling how insanely light it is especially because i like load my helmets up with like batteries and gopros and stuff microphones all sorts of stuff like that i rig it up so it gets heavier as you add all that stuff to it and then it starts causing stress to your neck and your shoulders and uh you know really sucks so yeah to start with such a lightweight base is one of the lightest helmets i've ever had for sure really helps i like that a lot anyway let's get to the ride let's enjoy it my dudes i don't know where we're going or what we're doing i just wanted to jump on the road ride around on mika enjoy myself a wee bit you know my dudes i was uh out on vacation for my birthday a couple weeks ago got back just over a week ago and i was sick when i got back i had like some sinus cold stuff going on so i had to take a day or two to kind of chill out relax i didn't even stream for those two days when i got back twitch.tv forward slash rps tv so many sick homies coming and hanging out in the chat really cool community but yeah come hang out with us hit me up if you're watching this right now slide on over to that i'll put the link down below probably live if it's the evening and it's any day other than saturday i'm live <laughs> so come hang with us love you dudes i'll catch you there but yeah so then i finally feel a little bit better and i'm like yes i can go get out on the bike we got the new helmet we're gonna do all the filming for it jump out on the bike and try it out bruh it freaking rained every single day since then literally every day it's florida summers dude like it's just rain so much rain they call it the sunshine state but every summer it's just raining every day bro it's the worst so you really got to dodge all the rain even uh yesterday when i was out on the bike filming the the helmet shots um from the front of the bike and uh, going out and grabbing coffee i literally had to dodge rain like multiple times i rode through a little bit of it and then uh stopped off at my girlfriend's house and hung out there while a rainstorm literally rolled over us and then jumped back on the bike and left again it was crazy but yeah man so good to be on the bike then i don't really know where this goes but i think it kind of goes to downtown winter garden area so i guess i'll go that direction maybe grab a coffee <laughs> we cruising bro we ain't got no plans we're here for the ride i also may be entirely wrong and just driving off into the middle of nowhere so there's that too i feel like i need to turn left oh this is plant street oh i need to turn right i think i need to turn right to get there i don't know we're gonna turn right and then see what happens i think we're pretty much at downtown winter garden oh yeah this is the right way birdie straight chilling 
Oh shoot, but we rolling up. We're in downtown Winter Garden right now. I think we're gonna roll up here, grab some Axe and coffee. It's like a little old school strip. It's pretty dope out here. It's small, it's chill. <laughs> but uh, it's it's aight. We're gonna roll up park over here. The VIP motorcycle and golf cart parking out here, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. I'm in the big leagues. Tony don't miss me. Ballin' like Houston. Hey, feeling like Whitney. I need a bag, bruh. Send it through quickly. I'm making his dog. Like I'm in the big leagues. Told him that I gotta go, dog. I'm riding a road, y'all. I think that I'm back in my bag now. So I need that go, y'all. Got hits when he throwing a fastball. Just too quick for it. Pillin' off at the whip horns. Seen it after this piss point. Got two. Man, it's a straight dream of mine, like bucket list, to get inside of the cockpit of like a fighter jet and actually be in it doing crazy stuff. You know, I wanna like pull some G's, dude. One day, one day I will get in the air in a fighter jet and have a pilot pull G's, do some Cuban 8s, some barrel rolls, four point turns, all the things, man. So bad, so bad I want that. It would be so sick. Just like the straight up takeoff and landing, man. All of it. Oh, I bet you it's so sick, dude. I know it's hard, too. It's hard on your body. It's like not easy and not super fun to feel all those Gs. But man, woo, the adrenaline. I'd be so excited. One day, one day we'll be in the cloud pulling G suits. If all goes well, I'll definitely bring some cameras and make some content out of uh, me passing out in the back. <laughs> so worth it though. <laughs> ah, so hard to enjoy this beautiful interstate with all these cars in the way, you know? Can't even enjoy this beautiful turn, you know? How am I supposed to get me lean on with all these cars in my way, dude? She's loud. All right, me guy, hear you. Chill, chill. Woo. Get out of that congestion with all those people who are pulling into each other. So many people merging left and right back there. I love you dudes. I appreciate the support. Hit me in the comments. That helps out. Hit smash the like. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe. Come around, hang out more often. Twitch.tv forward slash RPSDV if you want to catch me live pretty much every single night. So if you're watching this video and it's past about 5 p.m., head on over there. I'm probably live right now, my dudes. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. Tonight, a new six investigation into a biker troopers say is putting you and your family in the Doing all that on purpose. Oh, His antics have turned him into an internet celebrity. RBS. <laughs> it's not funny. More than 100,000 subscribers.